Welcome back to Peach and Talks, and today we're going to be looking at Apple Watch bands and specifically the difference between knockoff Apple Watch band and a genuine Apple Watch band. So I've got four bands here. I'm sorry. You can probably see these on the table here. Two of these are genuine, two of these are fake. I'm not going to tell you which one's which, but you probably already know, so I'll. This one's a real one. See, Apple Watch, Nike Plus, black one. This is an, uh, also an Apple Watch, Nike band. It's 40 in there, and I'll open it up. You can see Apple Watch, Nike. These are two of the real ones. And the two close knockoffs are this one, which has no labeling. It looks almost identical, which is black. And then this blue one here, which has no labeling again. So we're gonna be talking about the the difference and just the I'm mean, feeling them telling you the difference between the feeling, the quality, and yeah. And I'll tell you the price of what they're normally worth and all that. So probably. Alright. So starting out, let's start out with the sport bands. This is the genuine sport band as well as I'm also wearing a genuine Apple one on my wrist right now, but I figured it wouldn't be fair to compare that one because it's not close. So we're comparing Nike. One. So this is a genuine Nike one. I'll open it up. It feels good. It feels nice and slick. It feels really comfortable, a lot like the regular Apple Watch bands. It's got the air holes in it. It says in Nike it's got the color matching rivet, which is stainless steel, and it has the branding. And it feels premium. It's got a premium, more premium feel compared to this one, which is funny enough. Apple doesn't actually sell the color this color, but that's, I liked it. This one feels lighter. There's two different weights. This one feels slightly heavier, but not by much. And this one feels much lighter, and it feels cheap. Just got a sticky, rubbery feel. This one's got a slippery, rubbery feel. I don't know if you know that, but it's got like a sticky, rubbery feel. You can see I've had this one since July, and at the time of filming this video, it's the end of sept September. And you can see that this one's all all worn down. I've had this one since I got my Apple Watch last Christmas, and it's less worn down. You can just see like the wear the the wear wear marks on that. It's just less flimsy. The ribbon on this one, I don't know what it's made out of, but it is still metal. Of course, it does have the color. Stretch wise, I'm not gonna try and break them because I like the bands. If you stretch this one here, versus this one stretches more because it's a little bit thinner. I think there, less quality. So. Beyond that, these ones feel just a little bit cheaper th than this one, you can tell. Now, here, these two is where we get it, where we get into the really subtle details. So besides this one having the reflective stuff for the Nike one, we'll count that out. Well, let's go, go in and say, first of all, they feel almost identical. They feel almost the exact same. If I gave this to you, you would probably wouldn't be able to tell. The slight differences are like in the way these two parts look here. Then then there's branding, and then the two buckles look slightly different. This one feels a little bit more premium there, and this one's less, more plasticky. Now a difference on this one, the stitching on this one, you can kind of see it goes down. The stitching on this one goes across. But as for stretchiness, we'll do a stretch test right now. These bands stretch. Apple's band stretches. Honestly, this one feels slightly better, but not by much. This one's half the price of this one. This one feels not as bad. You can still twist it. So they're both good now. When it comes down to the Velcro, they both have the same style Velcro. And on that one and that one, excluding the fact that this one's slightly smaller and has less labeling. Now we'll try to slide the plastic piece up. The Velcro on this one's way more smooth. I can slide that plastic piece pretty easily. This one, you have really tight. The Velcro's a little bit bigger, I think. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. But that's not a determining factor. Now, as for the way it fits, they're pretty much the exact same. Now this one's got the reflective one, and this one's got like a red color in it. But excluding that, it's pretty much the same. Now I'll just close this back up here. That off to the side. And we'll close this one off here. So that's what I noticed with the, between the knockoff sport band, sport loop bands versus the 
regular sport bands. There's a different quality difference. Now I plan eventually on getting a whole bunch of these sport bands off Amazon. They sell them for really, really cheap, and I'm going to see if the quality is terrible or not. Probably, I'm guessing it will be. But Apple's bands are... Yeah, they just feel better, in my opinion. Now, right now, I'm a big fan of the sport bands. You can see, I've got, I've got this one, this one, and this black one, and I'm hoping to get my hands on the sport loop, or sorry, the new solo loop that just, that came out. Um, but I've been having trouble getting it because it's been very, very busy, and I want the red one. So I will hopefully be ordering that and doing an unboxing and adding that one to my collection, and I'll be doing an updated Apple Watch band collection video, but I still haven't gotten that band yet. And probably, I will add it at the end if I've had gotten it yet when I'm editing this video, but I'm guessing probably not because it's been taking forever for shipping and all that stuff, so I haven't ordered it yet, but I'm guess I plan on get <coughs> getting it eventually from the Apple Store. So that's the difference with the quality. Now what I will do is I'll do a I'll do, I'm gonna do a full weight test here. I'll just let them dangle and see what happens here. Here you go. Get you a full view of these. Now this one it feels thicker actually when you look at it. I don't know if you can tell that or not. Probably not on camera. It feels slightly thicker. Maybe it's just the quality or something. But it feels slightly quicker. Now this now this one did come with my series three, so what makes it cool is that it still says third somewhere on it. Oh that's this one. And it says thirty eight millimeter. There you go. Which is they don't make I can never buy thirty eight millimeters from Apple anymore unless you get it with the series thirty, so that looks I like that. This one says forty on it, and this one's forty too. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The quality on these I'm gonna say is the exact same. I hope to find a knockoff sport loop or solo loop. I keep calling it the sport loop eventually as well to do a comparison with the actual solo loop, but I don't have the actual one yet. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, that is all for this video, just doing a quick quality check of these Apple Watch bands, and I will see you guys next time. Alright guys, just a quick side note, I did not get my hands on the solo loop yet, but stay tuned for a video.